Jenny Mayer for Plum TV. I'm at the Breakwater Yacht Club in Sag Harbor, New York. Hi, I'm Jenny Mayer, and I'm here at Gurney's. Hi, I'm here at Pookie and Sebastian, which is on the Upper West Side. And I'm, I'm here at the James Jeans Lounge with fabulous stylists to the stars, Felix Mercado, the famous Magnolia Bakery. And it became famous through the show Sex in the City. Today she's the Saturday Styles Designer of the Week and I'm so excited to be joined by Kate Spade. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello. Ah! We are joined now by Dana Delaney, who is famous actress Dana Delaney. Frank McCourt, who is the author of Angel's Ashes, Tiz, and Teacher Man. Roy Scheider and he is joining me now. I'm here in East Hampton at the Longhouse Reserve, where Christo and Jean-Claude are this year's honorees. Can I try it on? What do you think? What do you think? I think it's gorgeous. It makes it glamour. And we're joined now by Jerry Logue, who is a board member of Miracle House, and Joan Allen, the wonderful actress. She has won six Emmys and numerous awards, including the prestigious Peabody Award. She was the longest serving co-anchor at NBC's Today Show. And on September 5th, she'll be the first solo female anchor of an evening newscast in the United States. I am honored to be joined now by Katie Couric. Hi, Jenny. Thank you for coming. How does this switch roles? Do I you? like it. I like it. You have to do all the work, and I just have to answer the questions. So this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know that there was a lot made of you going back and forth, whether you should take it or you shouldn't take it. <laughs> what were the pros and cons? I think, you know, 15 years is a long time in one job. I don't expect you to be doing Plum TV in 13 years, Missy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I'm here at Super Saturday at Nova's Ark Project in Watermill. Just getting uh, limbered up. You know, this is a take no prisoners kind of shopping day. It raises money for the Ovarian Cancer Research Fund, and even though it is sweltering out here, that has not deterred hardcore shoppers like yours truly from hitting the sales. Let's go. I wonder how much these are. Forty dollars. Not bad. and they write it up, everything that you're going to buy, and you take this to the cashier, pay the cashier, and then you have to come back here and pick up all your goods. It's kind of a pain, but it's definitely worth it. I bought three, four different things for $82. One of those would have been $82 in the store. Yes, I got this hat on sale. It's a little heavy, but I think that in a few years it might take care of me when I'm older. <laughs> are you having a good time today? We are. Supporting it's ovarian cancer? cancer? It's a magical event. Donna Karen has... Um, once again outdone herself rallying all of her fashion friends and getting everyone to donate all of their merchandise. Fall is a time to try out the great new trends for the fall and winter. Style expert Kelly Kalor and Ben Simone here to tell us now what to be wearing this fall. You. you heard it here. Kelly Kalor and Ben Simone, style expert telling you what to wear and most important to have confidence. One of the things that Pookie and Sebastian is really well known for are their bags. I mean, Not relatively modest compared to some of the really high-end designer bags, and they're so well made and fashionable. The bigger the bag, the better. How do you decide which one is the hot one? What's the trend now? What I like to do is I like to make sure that I consider my client before I consider the, the, the line. You know, so if there's a lot to learn here, there's the there's ABCs of fashion, ABCs How do I get dressed in the morning without you? How is it that I've managed to live this long without knowing these things? 20 years you spent working with the royal household in England. I was the right hand plan for the queen. Everywhere she went, I went. The royal butler. The royal butler. To the royal butler. This is the infamous stoop where Carrie lived. Why is the Sex and the City tour so much more popular than all of the other tours that your company offers? 
It is a show that was just so embraced. Okay. Cheers. Thank you so Cheers, much for Jenny. taking us on the Thank tour. Thank you so much. Martin Short, Fame Becomes Me, is currently playing on Broadway. It's a musical, it's a comedy, it's a one-man tour de force. The man who wrote the music and the lyrics is Mark Shaman, who's going to give us a backstage tour. After performing out there, I'm still right here, still playing, throughout the entire show. Come in! Hello! Hi! Oh, hello! Have you met Jenny? Hi! Hello, Jenny. How are you? Thank you. Nice, nice to, to see meet you. you. I saw the show, loved the show. Thank you. Um, I like that you made a lot of it up. I thought that was very clever. You know? It's all made up, really. The whole thing? Yeah. Well, there's some truth in it. And a one man show, but it's not really a one man show. Not this is a brilliant, brilliant cast of five, and everyone shines and sparkles. It's been 30 years since filmmaker Albert Maisels and his brother Davis first stepped foot here at Grey Gardens. They introduced the world to Edith Bouvier Beale and her daughter Little Edie, and the film instantly became a cult classic. At the time, the Beals were living here with cats, fleas, raccoons, in a dilapidated bohemian squalor. Today, the house has been completely renovated, and both Beals have passed away. We're here tonight to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the movie. We're going to take a tour around the house with Albert Maisels. It's the first time he's been back since he was here making the movie. No cats this time. They fixed the hole in the wall. Huh? That's where that hole <clears throat> was, right up there where the lamp is. Right there? <clears throat> for the cats and to come down? It? Oh, yeah, and there was a fire down in that corner. So whose room was whose? <sighs> okay, so that's the bedroom over there. That so, was yeah. So we go in there? Yeah. yeah. There were cats along these windows. Ah. This little room it's, and this whole it's house. Funny, this room looks so much smaller than it now was, but I'm sure this is the size. And there was one bed here, one bed there, and a portrait of Mrs. Beale uh, in that corner. And I think there was a bathroom here. Yep. Yep. And a little little refrigerator in this corner from which they drew their ice cream. And, and they had the table in the middle where they'd cook all their food. Yeah, and they spent a little radio in the middle. Uh, they spent 150 bucks a month on ice cream. <laughs> What's it like to be back here after 30 years? Oh. Well, I loved this place then, and I love it now. And um, all the more reason to connect with it, with all this uh, restoration that's been going on here. But uh, I still feel um, it's the same old place. Even as I've walked through the house, those rooms that I frequented, uh, it's the same. I, I, I uh, only wish that the two women were around, but they've. Um, are still around in many, many ways.